So I don't uh So now, so I went, um, so I went, so this what happened, bro. So back when I was with Blue, before I even uh, did no, um, like before we broke up and shit, okay, so when me and Blue were still together, um, and then Lake Chapa reached out and was like, can I pay for Krishana to be in a video? But it had nothing to do with his shot flows. It was like an intimate uh, track or whatever. And um, me and Black, Blue was like, nah, we don't think that's the best, whatever. You know, we used to be how we was, very possessive back in. So we didn't never collab with a female or I collab with a nigga, it just never hurt him. So when I broke up with Blue, um, and he dissed me, he had that song come out. So then um, when Blue dissed me, I dissed him back with the Mr. Take Your Bitch, Fly to New York, and uh, name on the tits. So when I did that, uh, I put my wall down. Like now I'm starting to network, I was starting net to network with everybody and shit. So I'm starting to network with everybody. Um, I had this track I was supposed to put out. It's the sexy re uh, remix or whatever. So when Blue got locked up recently, and um, when NLA Chapa, NLA Chapa already, he put me in his song about the mixture action shit. So I, me and Blue was still, before before Blue got locked up, me and Blue was still beefing. So I was still collabing. I was still, right, put out that remix with Sexy Red. I was still doing everything I was doing. Um, what happened with me and um, Chapa was, he hit me up, this is like the more recent time, he hit me up and was like, um, basically no hard feelings, because he keeps saying, Mr. Action like push on a rock or whatever. So, when he hit me up about that song, he was like, let's make a TikTok and all this other shit. Out. And then I was like, um, you know, I would have fucked around and just did a, a music video, we could have came up with a remix and then uh, did some shit like, I did with my boo, like basically like since I've been collabing with other artists, I've been going up like it don't even matter, like it's whatever y'all want and I hop on it. I make sure my verse is that verse. Like I do a good job. So we was agreeing on collabing and shit. And um I never really got to that collab because when me and Blue got cool, I dropped everything. Like I didn't I didn't think twice about shit because it was like he was very vulnerable in the worst place ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like we stopped beefing when he went to jail. Like, when he went to jail, he got in my ass about what we be doing and going through before he went. And then we, like, came on comment rounds like, hey, this is what we want. We want the same thing, so let's work for it. I'm like, all right, fuck it. It's in the city. It's like a shitty situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? To start new while you're in jail. But fuck it, I'm down with it. But... I stopped all my collabs. Like I, I, was, I didn't put out that song with um sexy red. I didn't put out um what else? I stopped responding. Like I stopped uh like, cause we was uh we was talking about moving forward and working together and shit. But like then out of nowhere, um me and Blue get cool. So I'm just like I'm not collabing with nobody. So I'm not cool with nobody. But then you seen that diss track came out. And I was cool with Chopper, I was cool with Michael, so I don't know why they was dissing me. So they used the situation at their advantage when he ain't locked up, for real. So whatever, whatever. And they get online just trying to clear things up before a nigga come home, because... I don't know, why I start all this fake ass beef online while he in jail, but then had none of this energy when he was out. So that's one thing. Two, don't be trying to put me in the mix and say, oh yeah, you want to be... No, nigga, we was talking about collabing on work. And then I cut off the situation because I didn't want to work with nobody. Like, um, the real reason why I didn't put out the Sexy Red song was because 
Blue was really like not on that. Okay, so you still on that fuck my baby daddy um era, and I'm just like, I I don't gotta be like, but I could put this tra track out with you. He's like, he just you know I'm just he my baby now, so I'm like, alright, I'm not gonna do it, man. But nigga, I've been wanted to, I wanted to put out a couple songs. I just haven't did did those because it's just like. I know y'all all probably like, why would you do that? Do you do y'all not know y'all got a fucking face tag? And then I'm um, about the face tag and shit. Um, I feel like people just mock what I do to like also like it's kicks and giggles, but it's like the mocking part, the annoying part. Like you had to mock me to what? Did a click a like or two, and then I don't know. I just don't fuck with the mocking shit. I mean. Shit be coming off passive aggressive. So I be like offended. That's why I didn't respond. I was gonna let Blueface respond because you know how he is. But don't be trying to say, oh yeah, she wanted to be on the uh re boy. We was talking about collab and work, but I stopped talking to everybody for real about any collab and just went into like camp mode for a nigga. I beat the fuck out of my tongue. And it hurt like a motherfucker. It's getting my fucking nerves. But that's my side of the story. I feel like people are only doing a side of the story because they know they went too far. Like, not when somebody do something and you go far. And then you try to like apologize for it or like set the record straight. Yeah, set the record straight, but set it right. Like, it'd be like people be popping shit. And then when a nigga call you out to fight, it's like, I get why he was saying he backed out and why he said he didn't back out, but it was like a back out. And they're like, oh yeah, he went to jail, but nigga, he not going to jail for years. The nigga just going to jail for a couple months. He basically said when we get out, that's gonna be the first thing he get to. Like, run me my fate. The fuck? Why you got time getting yourself together? He can get yourself together. But um, yeah, I got no rap with the uh. I'm only on here setting it straight for my nigga because he'll be like, you was right. I was like, well, fuck it. It wasn't cool. I was doing a lot of shit. I was playing with a lot of people. I was. And now he need me to be there for him and just be there for him. Only him and I'm down with it. Something I did agree with when he was like, um, 20 years from now, that's one of the problems that I probably agree with. He said, 20 years from now, I'm going to be, uh, still talking to him. Mentioned, that's the type of person, like an iconic person or whatever the fuck. I agree with that part because that's how I feel. I really do feel like that. So that's why I don't feel like I'm wasting time on missing out on opportunity. I'm just right here just camping it out for somebody that actually need me. And like, you know how like people are like, yeah, but it would be good if he was uh, putting out music and capitalizing off the situation. Um, the way I'm capitalizing off the situation is in my own way. I'm not, it's not really about things, what I can do, money, the height, the clout. It's just being here for mentally, emotionally, and physically for one person. And y'all know who that is. My motherfucking baby daddy. Will he do the same for me? Um, I don't know. 
I mean, he had. I go to jail, he handled all that shit for me and all that other stuff. But, um, Blue was never ready to settle down. That's why I never really tripped. Like, yeah, we got no arguments, but that's why I was doing me out with other niggas and doing me because we was just like, I bet we ain't ready. So, We, when we started to portion that time about each other, like, so when he was locked up, I swear to God, I was in Atlanta minding my business, bro. I was in Atlanta just minding my business. Yeah, I'm going through it. Yeah, I miss Blueface. Yeah, he just got locked up. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm still outside networking and trying to do my best next move for her. Like, fuck it. You feel me? So, when he called me and shit, and the way we just, um... He was basically trying to let me know, like, we're trying to let's do what we've been with, like, what we keep avoiding, doing shit serious. I'm like, you sure that's what you want? Like, you know what I'm saying? He had a whole full-blown relationship. He's like, okay, you was, you was doing what you was doing. Like, okay, but I was only doing me because of you. And he's like, there you go. Like, I don't know. We just go through the same argument, man. Cause I feel like honestly, the one that always wanna go like take it slow or wanna be the one that take everything serious, like, yeah, we should be a committed relationship. Gotta be really coming from the bitch side of point of view. So I was like, I was one of those females, but I was also one of those females like, alright, so if that's not what you wanna do, you feel me? I'm finna be like outside, you hear me. But uh that's the person I got in my heart. So it's like, all right, he will be serious. He want, we want to give it another go. We want the same thing. Fuck it. Let's do this shit again. And you know how hard and pink I be going. <clears throat> but the only thing that's different now was back then was like, um, Disputes, right? Y'all like wait till you get out. Look, you and I both is waiting. <laughs> if he's gonna stand on what he's been telling me, but I'm willing to wait to find it out. I don't really care. You feel me? I feel like love is love. Like, love is worth fighting for. Because when you got everything, you got all the money. You got... Look, I'm going to be honest. So... Not like that, but I pretty much got everything. Like, got my own spot. Had my own car, all this. Have all... Like, I have everything I wanted, but... Um... What I did, what I didn't have was my favorite person. So it's like, as much as he wasn't, it didn't deserve to be my favorite person. That time away, we got that time away to to respect each other more. Cause it was like, we stopped hanging out, and then what else? I we stopped hanging out, and then we started like doing our own thing. But what what made the icing on the cake? Um, when we started hanging out again. Right before you went in, the energies was like, I don't know. It's like we really miss each other. We wish we had it 24-8 and blah, blah, blah. But I knew it was so unfortunate to feel like that because it's like, yeah, you could wish and like miss a nigga so bad all day long. But if y'all still on the same shit and he don't want to change nothing new, it's no point in giving up everything. You know what I'm saying? Just to be left in the dark again. So, and that's what I was explaining to him. And he was feeling the same way, vice versa. So it's like, you know, every time you be like, well, you did this, you did that. He can name more his hand what I did too. So it's like, I guess, whatever. But long story short, it's agree or disagree. I don't have to go get my baby. My baby is okay. I don't want him in the camera. But like, no, I feel like everybody just 
fucking dried up in this world. And like the people said, the people. Like, I just read a weird ass comment. The fucking weird people. That's not him crying. That's what I'm saying. What are y'all talking about? He's not by himself. Like, that's the thing. It's none of y'all business. What room he in, who he with, and why he is loud like that. It's my motherfucking business, bitch. But I realize when you have everything and you don't got every and you don't got the person that you love. It don't matter what you got. If you don't have the person you love, that shit don't even matter. So I feel like I went long enough with other things I really fuck with. And then I was trying to like start new things and stuff, but deep down the side, I was just like, when is this thing gonna put up a fight for me to not do anything? So then we start putting up a fight and I was just like, Yes, you can. Then when you put up a real fight, like, okay, I want this, I want that, and I'm going to get this, I'm going to do that, you can be this, you can be that. I'm like, okay, right? That shit is believable. So now I'm excited to rock home. I shouldn't even give a fuck what we went through, what happened, what he did. I just like to be here for somebody that wants you there for them. That's it. So... Of course he did, he was going to jail. That don't mean shit though. Cause like, not like that, but he not going in there after him that long. But Keith's coming home, that shit is so cool. Oh, he come home so quick. So for me, and if he get that much about the fuck, I'm doing that cute. You feel me? But uh, I like uh how uh, that's my nigga for real. I'ma tell you what bit, what happened. He got this what he played on. He played on while we broke up was because I wanted to fuck with myself. And that's rightfully right. I didn't want to fuck with myself. As in like Because when you give all your privileges up, like to a man and they're not really in a full committed relationship you get like the short end of the stick and you feel always left with this void you feel me so i was going through like this phase like okay i don't even like that stepping out shit for real unless you like i don't know like, i don't even i don't even fuck with like shit like that so i was like fuck the money fuck the fame Fuck whatever we got going on. I, I'm not like I was scared to leave my situation because I was financially supported that way. I was I was in love, had a baby coming, but I just felt like I was being dumb and shit. You feel me? So when I cleaned up my act, got my own shit, and then dealt with him on my time, it was more healthy for me personally because it was like, all right. I took my uh, my dignity and my power, my privileges back. Like I feel like when you start living with a guy, that's when you give them all those privileges and power over you. So say if y'all do do stuff y'all don't agree on, it take a piece of you only because you didn't set yourself up to be set up right. Like I can't explain it. Like it's like I'm not gonna get in an argument with a motherfucker, right? <laughs> Knowing I just gave them the gun to kill me. You feel me? I'm not going to argue at all. So it's like, it's like, it's, it, it's up to you to not give that person too much ammo. So when y'all don't agree on a certain thing, somebody can't really pull out a clip and, you know? 
like with all that ammo on you. I don't know. I just be like, so basically, boo, we was doing that, getting that single shit for a little minute. And then I was fucking with other people for a little minute. And then, yeah, we just not fucking with it no more. So, I'm down with the process. Uh, want fighting for something new. Um, Chris, I'll be careful when he gets out of jail because I feel because I he feel me playing. It's the thing. Nobody can play me right now, bro. You know, the ball is in my court. Like, next time anybody play me, I'm not going to be on live crying about it. Or when I used to get played, I used to get played and, it, and I'd be like, fuck. Now I'm so set up. I got, I, I protect myself. Like, if that, like, say if that's what he on. You feel me? I'm already protecting myself in my mind mentally. Like, okay, I'm gonna just go pack my bags and come back home. Like, you feel me? It's not. I'm never. I'm never like aware of shit. But vice versa, like people like I'm playing him and say, "Oh, you saying you can hold the nigga down, but you're not." Like he gonna feel the same. Vice versa. I feel like we started off a clean slate. So it's like, with me, it's as if you ain't did shit. But I. I ain't, I ain't, it's not like I didn't for, for, forget, but I forgive you as if it's forgotten, for sure. Yeah, I moved out of this house um, when me and Blue got back together. So, I came over here because I wanted to swim, get out the house real quick. I had to make some money, do promos. And for everybody that keeps saying something about OnlyFans, I don't have an OnlyFans. So, don't get scammed. Because if I ever do an OnlyFans, it'd be like how Blue did it. Put a show up on there. Hey, y'all pay me for something. Content I'm gonna actually work for. Oh, that situation about Nat Natalie. I mean, that shit. I feel like the speak. I never speak on Natalie because she always, every time we um get into it, she purposely talk about shit. I purposely want to beef, so. Like, you heard that phone call, huh? He's like, it's not your shit. And shit. I used to hang out with Natalie, and she didn't make you feel like, um. One day, she your friend. And then the next day. She like this Zeus character, you feel me? So, I never really got to hit it off. I never really, like, so. So when we um so when we was going through our rough patches because of her, um, like say if I seen her out in public, I wouldn't speak, cause I don't speak to nobody. But um, Lemmy wanted me to speak to him. It was at the French Montana party. It was probably the last time I seen that. And um, my interaction with her, with her was it wasn't that bad. It was just like a high by situation. But no, I didn't speak. So I guess she took that offensive and then went on a whole rant on Twitter. And I'm just like, I don't even know where that beef came from, but I'm telling you, when people mention me and want to beef me, it's like that algorithm go up. It's something to watch. It's a blog page to post about it. So y'all talking about Natalie in my, in my life. I don't got nothing to say there, but God bless. You feel me? No hate, no shame, no nothing. I don't, uh, I don't like beefing with bitches. I, Cause, um, for me, I'm too, I don't know. I'm too comfortable in my skin. I love me. Like, I don't beef with people. People beef with themselves. And then...
Or the same time, I won't even address a shorty or a situation just because they're irrelevant. You feel me? So I don't really, I don't beef with nobody. But um, that shit that coming out, I think it's kind of like crazy. Like, who the fuck? This is my question. I, this is my intake on the situation. First, it's kind of funny because how the fuck? Stunner had the receipts, but you know, that's Stunner girly. Really. Fuck that, you. She gonna get something. She gonna have the proof. When she when she pops shit hard on the internet, my thing is, just be careful with the dog. She like, uh, what's her name? She got all the receipts and she, she gonna explode in her mess. But, uh, it's just funny because, um, I personally work with Zeus, so I know what happened. You feel me? So everything everybody been saying, Y'all just find out about old shit. My intake on it is, um, somebody sent that to her, to Stunner, that don't like Natalie, that be with Natalie, that have a good conversation. Because on the phone, it sounded like Lemmy was talking to Natalie. And at the end, Natalie laughed it off because she knows she's in trouble with Lemmy. So this is one of those conversations that Natalie will have with Lemmy. Cause that's her boss. So she got played it like if it, she let that nigga say bitch, all type of shit to her. She went, okay, okay. And then, you know what I'm saying? She good. She back in, you know, at the face of baddies, chasing her dreams. So I, I feel like a lot of bitches just be getting they self pimped out from situations only because of situations. But my intake on it. I have no clue. Um, I think it's some regular LA shit. Like, it's some politics going on. Um, they got cool, like, family. And then now the politics is mixed with that family cool situation they got going on. So it comes off as, to us, like, weird. They got a cult. I don't fucking know. But um, I think uh, a lot of shit just going to start coming out. That's it. Like, I just think that's just the beginning. Like, all that little shit that came out. It's probably uh, worse shit. But I'm about to leave y'all. Come on, right. Get the going. But, uh, yeah, hey, y'all. I don't really got my intake on shit like that. I just think it's kind of corny. Like, damn, bro. Y'all can hear what we've been hurt. But, um. I know sometimes people be feeling untouchable, so they be start unnecessary drama and be like, don't even know they have their own shit to worry about. And that's why a lot of girls be beefing with Natalie because Natalie would speak on somebody. But just because her business is not blurted out, you feel me? She's like untouchable. Yeah, I'm saying a bunch of nothing because I don't want to start that thing. It's just y'all, y'all um, asking me.
But uh, me, I'm not beefing with nobody. I just don't, like, I feel like, um, I beef with Zeus all the time. That's just me trying to get my point across. But do you think I'm cut off? Hell no, I'm never cut off. It's just like when I want what I want and I prove, I stand with them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, all my warrants. My warrants are getting cleaned up. Um, I've been paying off fees and getting rid of shit, talking to certain people to help my uh, situation out. Um, Cause you know, I have my son, so the old me would have just turned myself in and dealt with it through in, from inside to the outside of the jail. So whatever, so I don't be like, you know, but uh, right now I gotta play cautious because you know, I don't, I don't plan on, um, Being in jail while my son is growing, like I just don't plan on that at all. So um, I'm doing every way possible to get that figured out without even trying to serve time. And it's working out for me. So I'm gonna work on my little situations and stuff. That's all about it. But um, How do you feel about the baddies reunion? I didn't watch it, but the clips I was tagged in. Y'all would have seen my real reaction if I was there. So I don't want to speak on what I would have did if I was there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't there, so. No, I for sure got more mature. I ain't gonna lose you. I'm not childish as fuck. It's like um, people get a satisfaction to know that you're bothered. So say if I was like, you know, concerned about something. I would probably like not say nothing at all. Like when, um, when that diss track was dropped recently about me. You seen how I didn't say nothing at all because it's just like, certain shit don't be applying to me no more. In my, like I'm, like I think I'm too much harder to face to it now. Now it's gonna get boring, bro, if I was really just like, bitch, I ain't even believe in all that gay ass shit. Like, cause first of all, I don't know, I like shit that pay me. So, like my Snapchat pay me. That's why I be on my story and shit. Like, when y'all was hating on me and shit, I was making hella bread from Snap. Still making money from Snapchat. But yeah, a lot of people on uh, social media just weird as fuck. So I don't bother really reading about it. Yeah, I don't bother really reading about it. Like, I'm not So what my baby do now, he just be cocooning. He be talking and shit. Like he's yelling right now and laughing.
Be girl quiet. Be girl. Be quiet, girl. They trying to cancel you. For what? I ain't do shit but be myself. And if I come on, if I come off annoying, you can't cancel me for being myself. Yeah, he's not crying. He's just talking. He's in my face where he just be talking and talking and talking and talking. <laughs> yeah, he be talking and shit. Right. What happened? Huh? Right. And then what happened? You know what he be liking to do though, y'all? Just sit up. Yeah, he be talking. It be so cute to me. Yeah. Huh. 
Well, like a morning walk. 